Oh, I need petrol. I don't want to get petrol. Getting petrol sucks. Surely I can make it there without having to get it. 48 Ks. I should probably get petrol. Anyway, hey guys, welcome to a vlog. Um, I thought I would do a little daily, weekly, I don't even know what this is gonna be, but I'm just gonna start vlogging and see where it takes me. Basically, I'm in a silly, goofy mood, so I thought I would vlog. But I'm on the way, well, I'm leaving now to get my nails done. I had these for the Valentine's Day shoot. They are grown out, they are chipped, they need to go. I'm sick of them. I'm sick of them. I'm sick of looking at them. They need to go. I'm keen for a fresh set. So let's go do that. It's currently 10 20 and it is Wednesday. Tomorrow, I am going to start my Invisalign journey. So I can vlog that. And then Thursday, I think, on Friday, I think I'm going to see Carla to do a content day so I can vlog that. But I have nothing to upload this Sunday. So I was like, might as well start vlogging. But I woke up, went to the office, and now I'm leaving to duck out to get my nails done. And then I'll be back. And then we'll have lunch together. And then we have an office meeting. And then I'm packing orders all afternoon. But first thing on the agenda, fix these horrendous nails that are very overdue. So let's go. I need to get petrol. I told the office girls I'll be very, very sad if they eat lunch without me. Basically, we have lunch together every day in the office. I'm sure that's like a normal thing, but we just made it like a rule that we all have to eat lunch together every day because it's just like a nice thing. I don't want people eating lunch at the desk. I want them to step away, switch off from work. We pull out the lunch table, we set it up and we all eat lunch together and we all catch up. Not that we don't chat all day, every day about personal shit anyway, but it's just like nice to like actually sit down and be in lunch mode rather than just eating and working at the same time. So we make sure that we do that and I said to them if you fucking have lunch when I'm not there I will be so mad because I should be back at like 12. I'm right now at 10 45 and they don't really take that long Because they're just like eating feeling them. So I was like if you eat lunch when I'm gone I'll be so mad because sometimes they have lunch early. So I've set my ground I said it about 45 times. So if I get back and they eat lunch, I'll be very mad because I'll have to eat lunch alone So I'm going to go get some petrol I don't know what I want to do with my nails. I have no idea. I've looked on Pinterest all morning. And because I don't know whether the um, lady I'm going to, whether she has time to do nail art. I don't know because that takes like an extra 20 minutes or whatever. So I'm like, oh, I don't know what, like, what I've actually booked in for. I've just booked in for an infill. So I don't know if that counts nail art. So I'll just ask. If it doesn't, I'll just get the normal what I usually get. But if she can fit in some nail art, that would be cute. Because I want to get something different. I get the same thing every time. All right, I'm going to go to this petrol station. Oh. Thanks, just number five, please. Petrol secured. Let's get these nails done. I still have no idea what I'm gonna get. Okay, I just got here. What am I gonna ask for? I have no idea. I need to go figure that out right now. Thank you. Stars. Oh, they're cute. I love the colors. I know. Like orangey, that's beautiful. Okay, back at the office. Showed everyone my nails. It was a hit. And now I brought in some pumpkin soup that was beautifully made for me during my teeth recovery. Um, and now I'm just heating it up. But to me, there's nothing worse than like lukewarm leftovers. Like they have to be boiling hot for me to eat leftovers. So I'm just like burning the fuck out of it and then I'll eat it. But we all have lunch together, as I said. Everyone waited except Elle and Ruby. So they are bottom of the staff pyramid. Heating up pumpkin soup, we're gonna go all eat lunch. Then I'm going to pack some orders and then I'm gonna go to the gym. But all the orders are like pretty much done. They smashed them out this morning, so I don't know if it's gonna be anything good for me to pack, but it's really cold. Pre-order. Wait, does anyone have any questions? Yeah. Like, I need to know from you. Yeah. How okay. many? I need. What do you mean? How many were on pre-order? How many orders we got on pre-order? Both of those will be the same answer. They'll be the yeah. same. Yeah. Sorry. Yep. Yeah. Um. Feel so cold, so. It's about. Touching. Elle, you need. To you say nothing's wrong at all. Good morning, good morning. How are 
are we? It is 9.30. I am about to get ready. Well, I need to get ready with you because otherwise I'm going to be late. But today is the day of the Invisalign journey. But yeah, basically I just woke up. It's a bit of a scandalous top to be doing my hair in. My boobies are probably gonna fly out, but um, so I'm about to leave. Um, and the reason I'm standing up is because I had a family over for dinner last night. So my um, desk chair is downstairs because we didn't have enough chairs. But um, yeah, I'm doing my hair and my makeup so that I can hit the road with mum. I am making her come with me. I'm forcing her against her will. No, nah, I'm just kidding. She loves me. We're going to my Invisalign appointment. Very exciting. This is my biggest 2024 in. It is these bronzing drops. So basically, when I have like no tan on because I'm retanning tonight, I'll put these on and hope they don't fall on my clothes. Put them on, drop them on my neck. And then I've literally got a tan on. How crazy is that? And it's really good if you're wearing something high neck because you only need to do like a tiny bit of your neck. And then it just gives you like a little glow. So that's my 2024 in. Um, we're on the way. I've just called grandma to let her know that we have left now. And I actually don't know what the point of this appointment is today. I need to scrub my tan so bad. But I think I'm starting this lunch today. So very excited. But um, yeah, I'm on the way. Oh, that's you, sorry. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, I think that's it. Thank, thank you. I'm at my Invisalign appointment. So excited. Come on down. Thank you. You're just not mildly mildly. <laughs> okay, so as you're going to watch this go up, if it's going to go up one by this one by one. This is what I to see. Okay. So this is how your teeth are going to move yeah. each week. As long as you are wearing it. This is scary. Which you are She's going scary. to wear, wear it. She's very strict, yeah. Okay, so. Wow, that is so cool. Now that is not it. Oh, oh. So where you, where you see there, we do a refinement scan. Um, explain to you how to wash them and all that sort of stuff. And because you're only changing it every seven days, you're not going yep. to, yeah, but you're they're not going to get yucky yep. and gross. All right. So exciting. She's waited years for this. Uh, here we go. Right, why is, oh, there is two, right. There is two, oh, but three. I, no, no, there's one Oh, that's a good start. I'm so excited. But I'm not going to tell you which one's your upper and lower. Oh, God. Because you're going to figure that out. You're going to have to. Yeah. Oh, God. They're really, like, thin. Like, yeah, really thin. Oh, my God. I thought it was going to be like my splint. Because I had a no. split for my jaw and that was really thick. This is very different. Right. Well, that's top and that's bottom. Right. Go for it. She's very disciplined. You won't see her take that out of the mouth. Mm -hmm. Now, how does that feel where you had the extractions? Fine. What about the ones that you had the week before? Fine. Fine? Mm -hmm. Okay. That was the only thing I was worried about, mm -hmm. whether we might lose a bit of spacing. So give me a big smile. Oh, yeah. Did you get it in? Yeah. There it is. Fantastic. Perfect. Alright, show them up. I'm so happy for you. Wow. Alright, take them out. Do you remember how much work she's done with all her jaw mm -hmm. and like it's been years? Now, pinch from the back. Mm -hmm. You want to go from like the back oh, yeah. of your teeth and then mm -hmm. it's going to take a while. That's yep. why we're sitting here. Oh, that was easier. <laughs> and you're probably not going to want to have this one. <laughs> mm. Here with Invisalign is they are just on the teeth. Okay. They cut all your gums out, so it's never going to rub on your gums. Yeah. And it is going to get harder yeah. in two weeks time when we put the attachments on. Yeah. It's only hard because I don't want to hit my holes too. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. And you're a little bit, yeah. Yeah. Once, once you're out of, you know, that sort of, you don't want to bump pain it or zone. anything. Yeah. Yeah. Pain zone or anything. Yeah. Pop it back in. Yeah. 
It's obvious what's what, isn't it? Yeah, I can break them. Yeah, and right. you're not gonna break them, okay? Mm. You can be rough with okay. them. They're not going to break. Like the spoon was so thick, it just kind of, it yeah. had only had one place to go. And it, you can, it, it does, it's not changing your speech or yeah, anything like that. No, you can, it's not. Yeah, perfect. You're a bit funny at the front. Yeah, but I'll get you It'll it. take a yeah. little bit because yeah. yeah. your tongue is you needed yeah. to learn that you know, it can't. There's something there. Yeah. 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 You make a lot more saliva mm -hmm. at the moment. All normal. Yeah. Don't be like, oh my gosh, I'm fucking yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're okay. All right. So you are going to wear that aligner mm -hmm. 22 hours a day mm -hmm. for seven days. Yeah. So when you sleep too. When you're asleep too. Sense, yeah. yeah. Sense. <laughs> <laughs> so if you go to bed and you wear it, but then get up in the morning and forget it, mm -hmm. you may as not have worn it. Yeah. Because you want that con consistency. Yeah. So. What's today? Today is Thursday. Mm -hmm. Next Thursday, whether it be morning or night, I usually go for night mm -hmm. because it's not painful, but when you're settling in, it's nice. A little, bit uncomfortable. Yeah. little bit uncomfortable. It's good to sleep, so you know, remember. Yeah. So next Thursday, you're going to change into number two. Yeah. And I'm only going to give you those two because then when we see you in three weeks, yeah, three weeks' time, mm -hmm. we put those little attachments on your teeth. Yeah. And that's when I'm going to give you all right. of them. Great. Okay? Mm -hmm. And that's where all the fun starts. Yeah. So there's not, as you can see, there's not a lot of movement happening over the next two no, weeks. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. This it's is just getting, just place. getting yeah. you into yeah. a good habit. Yeah. Um, now, cleaning them. Mm. Nice. Big no no. No hot water. Right. No hot water. Yeah. Guys, I have Invisalign on. That is so weird. I don't even want to show them because that means I have to show them like my teeth, which mm. is so weird. So I don't want to like show you. Well, they look quite close up because then you'll have to see my teeth and usually I try and cover them when I talk. But they're on, I can't believe, I can't believe I actually have Invisalign on my teeth right now considering how long this journey's been. It's been like years. My mom does not want to talk. But basically, I wanted to get Invisalign like years ago. I actually went to, a, when I lived in Melbourne, I went to a place in Melbourne because I was so sick of it. I was like, look, I went to a veneer place and I was like, I know my teeth are really bad, but like, can you do veneers? And he looked at me and he was like, babe, there's no way we can give you veneers. Like you need to get them fixed first, like straightened up first. Then I went to go get Invisalign and then I told him that my jaw was cooked. So then he was like, okay, well you need to go fix that first. So I had a year on the splint and then I also had to go to a respiratory, is that what he, is he respiratory? Respiratory doctor to get my, respiratory specialist to get my nose fixed because my jaw doctor i was like you can't breathe properly you're going to put the splint in your mouth and then you're going to choke in your sleep because the splint like takes up quite a bit of your mouth so i had to go to a respiratory specialist and get these nasal sprays get on these nasal sprays to help me breathe and then go back on the splint be on the splint for like a year and now i'm finally here once the splint and course is finished and my extractions i poor extractions okay i'm on the way to the gym i went home got changed and i'm trying to kind of like because there's no, obviously no time that I have to go to the gym, but I want to get there before school finishes because then all the school kids go, which is obviously is fine. Because I film myself at the gym, I don't want, like, I want obviously as little people there as possible so that they don't feel uncomfortable. And, like, I've never had anyone care. Like, I've only had one person come up and be like, hey, can you not, like, make sure not to get me in it? And I was like, oh, my God, yeah. Like, I always, like, cut people out, especially if they ask. So I haven't had any issues, but I just don't. I just want as little people there as possible because I don't want to have to make everyone feel uncomfortable. And I literally film for like 10 seconds and then I stop. Like I don't film the whole time. But I like to go at like 2 when no one's there and it's 2.20 right now. So yeah, I want to get there like before all the school kids get there. I just like going there when it's quiet also. No one likes to be working out when there's people there. Or do a little arm workout. I did legs yesterday. And while legs is my favorite to train, I murdered my legs yesterday. My whole lower body. So... I will be doing arms today, which I've actually grown on training upper body. When I say arms, I just mean upper body. Like, I just mean shoulders, back, arms, blah, blah, blah. I've actually grown to love it. I used to never, ever train it. But now I see girls with beautiful backs. And I'm like, I want a beautiful back. So, I'm going to do upper body today. I'm going to try and film a bit of it. Because you guys love the gym content. And I'm not posting it in a way of, like, this is what you should be doing. It's just, like, a, this is what I'm doing. And it's kind of, like, cool that I'm going to be able to look back and look at my progress. Just going from the gym. Pumpy. Say hi. And now I'm just having a little mango and I'm going to watch Sophia and Chinsia, obviously. That's like the only thing I watch really nowadays. Okay, this is what I'm wearing to dinner. Just some 
flares and a little the I am my baby tea from all me. It's literally the comfiest thing ever. I can't not wear them. I have the other one right here inside out because I've been living in it. Probably should steam it, but this is the new thing. I'm gonna chuck in some slides and probably also a hoodie because it's, it's quite hot. But I scrubbed my tan. I haven't vlogged because my phone has been on charge. It literally died when I was at the gym. So I have had it on charge all afternoon, but I showered, I washed my hair. Bang, you funny bone. That's what it felt like straight down my arm. I was like, oh. Good morning, from Pumpkin and I. It's a good morning, isn't it, Pumpy? Oh, you are just so beautiful. You're the most beautiful cat in the whole wide world, aren't you? Anyway, I woke up and I did nothing and now it's like 10. Which has been chilling, it's just been a chill morning. Just me and my girl, me and my main girl. You have a little something in your eye. Good girl. Um, I think I'm gonna go to the gym. Usually I've been going in the Arvos, but I'm like, oh, might as well go. I have to go to my PO box. Um, I wanna shoot some content today. I wanna find a place to go shoot content, but I can't find one for the life of me. So I just have to accept that. I've been trying all yesterday and all this morning and I've been stressed about it. And I'm like, you know what? It's fine. I don't have anything due that I need to submit to brands. I just want to go take content, but I'm just going to have to wait because I can't find anywhere. Relax. My teeth hurt so bad. I don't know if I updated you yesterday. I don't think I did. But my teeth yesterday, I was in so much pain. Honestly, if this is what Invisalign is like, I can't even imagine what braces is like because apparently braces is cooked. But I know that like it's just gonna be like this for the first few days. I don't think it's gonna be like this for the whole time. Well, I hope not. That's apparently what they say. It doesn't hurt. Right now I'm in a lot of pain. Like it's just like constant tooth pain. It was like that all yesterday. So I'm gonna keep up the Nurofen and Panadol today. Um, because the teeth are hurting. I keep going like this and just clenching them together because that's the only thing that like semi relieves the pain. So I've just been doing this all yesterday and today. But yeah, I'm in a lot of pain. If I'm doing something though and I'm distracted, I don't think about it. So i got to keep myself occupied. I actually kind of have a headache. So I'm going to take some Nurofen and some Panadol. Okay, I'm leaving to go to the gym. My teeth are so sore. But I'm going to go to the post office, grab that stuff. And then I'm going to go to the gym. And then I'm going to go to the office, have lunch with the girlies. And then I have a meeting. And then I need to go to the shops and get an outfit for a party I have tomorrow. I have like a Vegas party. Guys, we just got scissor tickets. I'm so happy. Oh my God. So me and my friend in the office, we were on the website and Carla was on the website. And cause we all wanted to go together. We were like, okay, let's just all be on it. The boys in the office, like everyone in the office was on their phone, on the website for us. April got through. We were on there for so long, we were not that long, we were on there for like 10 minutes. So we were just like sitting there, we were just refreshing, we weren't getting through. And then April was like, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean what do we want? And we were like, we were like, generally, we should generally, because we think like the mosh kind of area would be like kind of fun for scissor. So we were like, mosh, mosh, mosh. She got through, she got four tickets. And she got them so quick. And then she was like, oh my God, I don't have my card details saved on my phone. It's like, April, this is something we could have discussed before. So Carla was like, okay, because I don't really know. I don't have any cards with me. They're just on my phone. Like I don't carry a purse. I don't have cards with me. They're just on my Apple Pay. She's like, fuck, fuck, fuck. And I was like, okay, I'll go try and find a card. And Carla was like, no, no, no. I know my card number off her heart. So Carla's standing there reading her card number out. April's like putting it in. But we got four. I'm so excited. I love, I was never really a scissor fan, I will say, until her recent album. And then I like fell obsessed, like got obsessed with her and that whole album. It was like, that album was like the most played album for me in 2023. And two of her songs were my most played songs. Um, Blind, I think was actually my top song of 2023. And um, Nobody Gets Me was like second or third in my top 23. So I like love her new album, but I was never really a fan before. So it's weird because like, I love, like I liked her music, but I was never like, never like would listen to it. And then when that album came out, it was the only thing I listened to for like the whole year. So I'm so excited to see her. And the concerts in April, like you'd think Scissor would do it like next year. Like I swear those concerts like always go on sale so much earlier than when they actually are. 
but she oh god i'm gonna be stuck in this lane now she, her concert's in april so it's soon i'm so excited it's my friend's birthday around that time the girl that i'm going with april so i think maybe i'll do something to do with that for her birthday like i'll get us a hotel for the night or something anyway uh yeah april's coming over she's literally driving next to me right now for work she's coming over to try on some dresses for that vegas party that i was talking about okay so i have got this so which be anything that you potentially want to wear well this is a this is a third option okay but like, it is really nice is it a top or a dress it's a dress okay well i think this is going to be your best friend so it's like stretchy and then they just like cross over try that on i reckon it's going to be sexy okay and then I think this is, what you're wearing, that's so cute. I think this is the one I love that. Yeah, this one. So it's just like a it's not like booby at all, it's just no, I love that. long and short. Oh okay, hair. I got what you mean about this. Yeah, okay. So I think that'll work. You can take it, you don't show it on now. But I think this is what I'm wearing, but like it's a lot. Yeah, you could do the you could do the straps that way, you could do something on your bike. They do look good cross though. Cross like Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh yes, okay, cute. And then this is another one, but cute. it's quite uncomfortable. Wait. But take it. It's nice. I don't want to take it if you. I'm not gonna wear that. Wear that. I'm, okay, wear that. I'm definitely gonna wear this. Okay. I'm not gonna wear that. I might wear this, wearing, but you're definitely wearing one of these. I'm definitely wearing that. Okay. You're definitely wearing that. Yeah. Right. Okay. So you can take this too if you want. No, no, no. Oh, so long then. And I won't feel too overdressed then. Oh, bloody hell! Yeah, I don't know what heels I'm wearing, but they'll probably just be plain black or white. But um, yeah, no, I've got heaps of black ones, so you can just pick whichever ones you want. These them or i don't want to take any of these do you want just plain black yeah these these are fine i don't care yeah i think these ones i tried the other day yeah yeah they're, but they're fine i don't they're know fit. if they're the comfiest really well i don't think they're i don't know i just haven't worn them so i don't know no that'll be fine they'll do what about if you wear one that's not black i can bring them i oh, know all, all your options are black mm. okay even though i can bring other heels tomorrow so that'll be fine what time, are we, what time are we gonna go ready what time do we get there eight I think leave Abby's at like 8 because it's like a five minute drive. Because she says it goes to 1 a.m. It's a long time. Oh, yeah, it's really close to Abby's. Let's Even just leave Abby's at 8. Yeah. So let's get to Abby's at like 6 30. Exactly, yeah. Are you doing your makeup there? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I will then. Because I won't have work the next day, so I can, not, I can just leave and then go for Well, I won't do my hair, I'll do my makeup. Yeah, I always do that, yeah. Well, then, even like, do you go for 6? Get some cute photos. Yeah, 6 6. Seven. I'd rather just be, not be rushed. No, I like being chill. Okay, let's do that. Let's get there at 6. So, we can even, what, are you, what are you doing for food? Should we have dinner at Abby's? Good idea, it's a bit of an awkward time, isn't it? Because she'll have nibblies, but we won't, like, we won't have, we won't, she won't have really dinner. She won't have You don't reckon? No. Okay, then no, let's just have dinner. We'll get takeaway and take it to Abby's, eat it, and then we'll get ready. Mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm Okay, perfect. Good. Okay, this is from Sarah Humphrey's agency. Ooh. Some Anastasia lip velvets. This is from... Ooh, Tropica! What this is, actually. Oh yeah, this is something that we may or may not be releasing. If you would be interested in it, let me know. It's a little Tropica cup. Obviously comes with a metal straw. Okay, next, this one is from MAC. Okay, Slay. This one is from max media lab and it is fenty next up we have okay next up is from sea sun australia we're so excited for you to try your new products discount code sophia for 10 percent off oh my god okay enzyme gel cleanser self tanning drops vitamin c serum tanning mousse Micro brow pencil. Okay, I have no idea what this is. It just says it's from DHL, so I don't really know what that means because it doesn't say what brand. Huge box. Ooh, it's Tony Bianco. Oh my god, these are so cute. Oh my god. How slay. And then I got the same ones in red. <gasps> they are amazing. These ones. <gasps> they are sick. 
Thank you, Tony. Hey, girl, it's good morning. It is Saturday morning. I have arisen. It is 8.30 a.m. So basically the plan for today is we have a meeting with a manufacturer this morning. Um, so that's not till like 10, 10.30. So mom and I were like, we'll go to the beach, get some brekkie before, get a little coffee. So we're going to go get some coffee, just mom and I, and then we're meeting the manufacturer. They're going to talk us through heaps of samples. So exciting. Like stay fucking tuned. I just remember a dream I had last night. I had a dream. Oh my god, this is so bad. So the whole like Austin McBroom thing, I used to watch the Ace Family like, oh my god, ages ago. Like when I was like, when they were first a thing. Stop watching them because I was like, this is so bad. Like you, you all know, like you, we all know the Ace Family shit. But I'm not really all over like the divorce, like the breakup because they just got divorced, right? I'm like, yeah, whatever. Like I've seen it, I know of it, but like I'm not really into it. Like I don't really care. Anyway, so I'm not thinking about it. But last night, I had a fucking dream that I had a, got a text from Austin McBroom. And the text was like, I don't know how he got my number. And it was like, hey, so basically the gist of it was like, you need to be pushing your YouTube channel more. Like on your Instagram and stuff. And he was like, because you've got amazing sponsors like GHD. What else did he say? Princess Polly, blah, blah, blah. And like, he's like, you need to be taking advantage of that. Like... You need to really push your YouTube. Something like that. Like, I'd, obviously, well, in the dream, I'd never talked to Austin McBroom in my life. So, I was, like, sitting there, like, how did he get my number? It seemed so real, as all dreams do. But I can't believe that. That's so funny. What a random fucking dream. Like, I haven't even been thinking about that whole saga. But I had a dream. Do you know Austin McBroom? He's a YouTuber. It's a YouTuber. No, it's a YouTuber and he, he's, he's called the Ace Family. Oh, no, the Ace Family. Yeah, so that's him. And so, like, I just had a thought, like, you should really be prioritizing your YouTube, like, all this stuff, and it seems so real. It's the way you get set up that car. I'm having some lunch, I just ordered this from Uber Eats, and I'm watching my faves, as always. Pumpy is just there. I'm just gonna feast on this. Hey girl, it's okay. I'm about to get well, semi get ready for this party. Basically, I'm getting ready at a friend's house, which I'll try and vlog. Um, but I'm just gonna do my hair here just because it's easier. Um, and why not? Like, I can't be able to pack my hair tools. So, I think I'm just gonna straighten my hair. I'm wearing like a long, sparkly dress. Um, my mirror. I'm wearing a long, sparkly dress. Um, so, I think straight hair is the vibe. But, like, sometimes I just don't like my hair straight. So, we're going to have to see. But I feel like, because I, I was just like, oh, I'll curl it. Like, I didn't really think about it. I was like, oh, I'll just curl it. But then when I actually thought about it, I was like, mm, I don't know if I want to curl it. Because I don't think curled would actually suit that dress. So, I am just going to straighten it and hope that... It looks good. I just feel like the only thing that I don't like is when my hair is straight is that the front bang bits aren't grown long enough yet. So they just like look weird when they're straightened. But this is the best heat protection, by the way. But yeah, I'm just going to straighten it and see. But then I'm, it's so windy today. Like it's ridiculously windy. So hopefully either A, the wind stops by tonight or B, the party is inside. I've never been to this girl's house before. So... I don't know what the layout is like, whether it's like the main entertaining, entertaining bits outside or inside. She's on property, I'm sure though, I'm pretty sure. So I'm like, oh, he'll probably be outside. So I'm like, do I slick my hair? Because having your hair out when it's windy is so annoying. I haven't straightened my hair in so long. I either just curl it or just leave it. Like I don't ever really straighten it. So I'm just going to quickly run over this and hope i didn't even turn it on i was wondering i was like why is my hair like not that hot i didn't even fucking turn it on idiot um i'm getting to my friend's house at about 5 30 and right now it's about 4 20 so i need to leave in like half an hour i'm just gonna pack my bag with my outfit plus some options for the girlies because i think my friend's gonna borrow something plus like all my makeup and then my camera as well if we want to take some pickies together um, and I want to bring some A1A, not that I will drink it because I'm not drinking, but I think it's just like cool because it's like a Vegas casino theme party 
818 is pretty on brand and I thought maybe I could even gift it to the girl for her birthday because I won't drink it. I think it's too cool to take and everyone can have some, you know? So I might bring that, but I don't know where it is. I know I have it somewhere, but I can't really find it. God, I haven't straightened my hair in so long. I'm gonna feel like a new bitch. We're gonna have some pizza. The girlies tonight, before we start to get ready, we're gonna have some pizza. But I can't wait, we're at the age, well, I'm at the age now, where like it's 21st season. I remember when I was so young, all my like older like friends or siblings or whatever, like older girls were going to 21st. So I was like, oh, 21st, like that's you're like an adult, like you're, you're 21st, like that's peak life. Which it is, but now that I'm here, I'm like, oh my god. I mean, my 21st is until December. But I can't believe that I'm now the girl that's like going all my friends 21st. Like, it's crazy. I've got so many 21sts coming up. This is the first one. It's the first 21st I've ever been to, I think. This is the first one of the year. But I've got three coming up in April. April is a big year for me. I have a lot of Aries friends, which is great because Aries and Sag is the best compatibility. This is honestly the best straightener ever. Okay, that's my hair straight. Oh, I literally never straighten my hair. I don't really know what to think. Like, is that slow? I don't know. I feel like I should do a little flick or something, you know? Like a little... You know? I feel like that's cuter. Oh no, I don't like that. Oh, I don't want to fry my ends off. I can't be going back over it a million times. Okay, I've got the goods. I've got my makeup. I've got my outfits. I've got champagne for the birthday girl and for the girlies if they want some. I'm in my PJs to go get ready and get comfy. Okay, okay so I need to know which one I'm wearing. You haven't seen me pop, have this one. I've never seen any of them, have you? No. I'm also my period, and I've just been. So am I! Me too! We're sick! <laughs> We're sick. I just realized I also put a tampon, so I'm assuming you have Oh, I will not. I don't. Okay, so oh, this is the first yes. one. But, like, it's not really giving body, you know? There's no, like, shape to it. Yeah, but that's, I think that's the idea. Problem. Can you please try that with the red heels? Okay, yeah, but I'll just slip them on. I love it. You I really do like it. So. I was thinking maybe Abby, I feel like this would be better for you because it's very short. Already. Yeah, and I would, yeah, I get it. I think this is just more your vibe. Yeah, it is, but I do like my But I think this is perfect for the, the theme. Yeah, it is. I love that. So keep a I visual note. Wait, let me take a photo of Abby. Take a, okay, no. Oh, my butt. But I do understand the shape of yeah, issue. I get what I mean. It needs to be like. You don't need, it doesn't, it's, no, not, it doesn't. it's not unflattering. No, it's, it's just really like, okay, it is very okay, short though. Oh, no, so much better. This, but this is kind of giving like I get what you mean. That's Vegasy, but it's also like it's kind of giving Golden Globe. Yeah. <laughs> like is Sky is Sky gonna be in like a fucking denim skirt and no, a sparkly no, top? No, we I'll don't know. It's, no, I'll tell you. She, it's like like fully colored, right. like fully sequined, right. feather boa. Right, because I don't want to be like get there and Sky's like, well, she, like she's like you've outdone yeah, me. Yeah. Not outdone me, but like yeah. No, no, I get you. Got it over the top with the thing. I kind no. of think the other one. If I'm really? Being no. so really honest. I don't think this is very flattering. Well, I kind of think, think the other flattering. one is like what? sexier. We're going to like cross them over. No. Yeah, but then your necklace is it like in No. I kind of think off. the other one's a bit more Vegas. Yeah, like a bit sexier. And I feel like it's a good you know, in between. It really it's good not you clothes. wouldn't feel overdressed because a lot of people are wearing short dresses. Okay. Or I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I do. I think this one's more flattering though. You have it, to this is more flattering. That's more flattering, like from there down. Yeah, yeah. but it's not from here up. I wish it was like. Yeah. Why don't you just cut it? Yeah, yeah it needs to be like. Oh, can you look at yeah, the straps? really defined. Maybe that's why. Really? Yeah. yeah. Isn't it more tight? It's like you've been working yeah. out. Jamie's gonna get too serious. That's just like loose and sleek. We're gonna have to set the other one. That's what I'm saying. If you have a V-neck, you go like, no, do that cross thing. Yeah. No, that's too oh. much. That's cute. <laughs> I could cross this. Oh, please hold. Oh, my. <laughs> that snap did not sound good. That's better. Oh, I can cross this. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs> For my fucking camera. Hold it. That's fine. It will hold. I like it 
sides. I cool. think I would actually. I originally was thinking that one, but I kind of think the other dress. Really? I kind of think it's a bit more fun. You know who mine? Yes, here. please. Oh, yes, I want. Yeah, but not blue. Oh, slay. It kind of looks very similar. Okay. Last night was so much fun. Happy birthday to Sky. We all love Sky. Um, and I'm actually proud of myself because I feel like I vlogged a lot. Obviously not of substance. It was just us dancing because that's just what we were doing all night. We were just going in there because she basically had her house and she had this huge like marquee. It must have been two together because it was huge. And um, inside there was like DJ and um, casino tables and all that stuff like to kind of give the um, Vegas effect. Um, Sorry, someone called me and I forgot what I was saying. But it was really cool, but because the DJ was in the marquee and it was quite a hot day, it was like a 30 degree day and it was quite a warm night. The when you were like dancing it got really really hot because it was just like a box of like sweaty people. So we kept going like in and out and that's basically all we did like like all night. We just went out, got some air, got some water, and then went back in. So it was heaps of fun. Ended up leaving at about 11.30, got home at like midnight, watched some Bondi Rescue, had some Mackies. It is 11 o'clock, I'm driving to breakfast. I'm gonna go get breakfast with the girls. So I'm gonna go pick them up and then we're gonna go, go to the beach, just get a little bacon egg roll. But most of my friends didn't really get that drunk. So it was a really fun night though. I haven't been to a house party in so long. Now that we're all, what, turning 21, that is so weird. Because now that we're 20, we just go out because we can. And it's so funny when you're like 16, 17, all you want to do is be able to go out and you're sick of house parties. And now we're so sick of going out. So I'm really glad that she did a house party because we can go out any weekend. Like going out is so shit. But yeah, so we're going to get some brekkie and then I'm going to go home, edit this video, um, and then I'm going to go to the gym. God. I just got back from brekkie. And now I'm gonna go edit this vlog. So I'm going to end it. I'm just putting my Invisalign back in. Thank you for watching. And if you want more random weekly vlogs, let me know because I can definitely do them. Love you.